ਪ੍ਰਧਾਨ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਸਟੀਵਨ ਹਾਰਪਰ ਹਾਲ ਹੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੈਂਕੂਵਰ ਆਏ ਸੀ ਅਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇੱਥੋਂ ਦੇ ਐਥਨਿਕ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕੀਤੀ The communities uh, you report to and that you broadcast to are an integral part of Canadian society therefore your organizations are in our mind a vital and important part of the Canadian media landscape which is why we do events like this from time to time you help new Canadians to be informed about national public affairs at the same time as you would keep them in touch with uh, home and ancestral countries and you help ensure that the views of all communities are heard which obviously is part of what makes uh, Canada among the strongest practitioners of uh, free speech and free press anywhere in the world uh, James mentioned we're moving towards a new parliamentary session obviously we will be moving forward with uh, significant uh, legislation I do want to say though and it's important to state that our fundamental priorities as a government uh, will not change we are committed to supporting families and communities throughout British Columbia and Canada and we will remain focused most importantly on the economy on creating jobs growth and long term prosperity uh, for every part of the country and every community in the country we want to continue to lead the global recovery i think as you know the uh, canadian economy has over the past i guess is really over 4 years of of what's called the global recovery now uh, we have uh, led much of the developed world in terms of economic growth and particularly uh, in terms of job creation we have 1 million net new jobs created in canada over 1 million net new jobs created in canada since the end of the recession more people are working today in canada than are ever working ever been working before in our country and we are one of the very few developed countries that can actually uh, make that statement <coughs> we have uh, the strongest and safest financial system in the world which we're building on we're taking a great efforts as you know to widen our trade network some of you have been on some of my trips that involve that and of course we're also remaining on track to balance our budget by 2015 which was a key election commitment all those things said the reason we have this focus on the economy is not because uh, things are exactly where we want them to be on the contrary things remain challenging and uh, they're challenging in the world around us we're part of a global economy and we're a trade dependent nation so uh, we have to keep focused as a government and a country on these matters um we will continue with our obviously our very broad approaches we will keep taxes down for families for individuals and for businesses we've lowered many critical taxes we're committed to keeping them down we're committed to taking strong action to make our streets and communities safe uh to uh further um our emphasis on a criminal justice system that focuses on the rights of victims and law-abiding citizens rather than on the rights of criminals as was done in the past uh, we will also keep uh, reforming our immigration system as you know we inherited a system where we were locked into enormous uh, large-scale backlogs we've been dealing with that and as we deal with that try and clear those backlogs and try and make it uh, easier particularly uh, for those who can get and create jobs to enter Canada. Um we will also continue to target some of the specific economic challenges which we did in economic action plan 2013 things like manufacturing, innovation and mismatches between jobs and skills in the workforce. So those are the um those broadly speaking are the priorities we've had as a government they're going to broadly remain the priorities but obviously we'll be coming forward with detailed legislation. along those lines and uh in the meantime uh I just want to assure you we're committed to getting results for uh all of your communities and all of our families and uh I'm here to take a few questions on anything any of these matters or anything else that may be of interest to you so thanks everyone for being here we really do appreciate your time Sorry.